Welcome to this video about some special techniques in Maxwell Render. In this video we'll cover how to get an ambient occlusion light pass with Maxwell. In this video we'll be using Maya, but this feature can be used with any 3D platform. As you may know, ambient occlusion is an algorithm used to mimic global illumination and the particular soft shading produced by the environment. Maxwell Render doesn't use a regular ambient occlusion algorithm, but rather a much more realistic global illumination engine that you can use to create an ambient occlusion light pass if you need it. Although the global illumination is already calculated by Maxwell by default, sometimes an ambient occlusion pass can be useful to add some extra dirt and dust to the corners to age surfaces, or for certain stylistic purposes. For every surface you want to have an ambient occlusion effect, you have to enable the Shadows checkbox in its Material Properties panel to make it a shadow receiver. On the Maxwell Material definition, edit its Global Parameters tab and enable the Shadows checkbox. Enable it on all the Maxwell materials you want to get the occlusion effect. Usually you will want to enable it for all the objects in your scene. On the Render Options panel, enable the Multi-Light feature in Intensity mode. And finally, as a last step, enable the Shadow Channel Exportation on the Render Channels panel. You can now launch your scene to be rendered in Maxwell. While it is rendering, the Multi Shadows feature stores an independent shadow pass for each independent emitter, when Intensity Multi-Light and the Shadow Channel are enabled together. You can adjust the intensity of each emitter separately by playing with the Multi-Light sliders. In this case, I set a high dynamic range image to get the environment lighting. I also added a polygonal disk with an emitter material to play the role of the sun. I used the characteristic sun temperature and intensity to get a realistic emission. This then gives me an independent slider to adjust the sun contribution. In the render output folder you will find the resulting images. One independent render per independent emitter, in this case one for the image based environment and one for the sun like emitter. Additionally, you'll get an independent shadow pass for each individual emitter in your scene that you can use for compositing purposes. In this scene, the shadow pass from the environment is the ambient occlusion light pass that you can use in post-production for dirtying and aging your renders. Thank you for watching this video.